you're an all grain brewer, having a pH meter is a critical piece of equipment and I'm gonna show you why. But before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, comment on this video. It helps us get visibility. Let us know what you think. So here's why you want a pH meter. The pH of your mash affects the activity of enzymes responsible for conversion of starch into fermentable sugars. A pH meter allows you to measure the pH of your strike water, which is important for calculating your estimated mash pH and ultimately measuring it for your brew day records. Keeping logs of your mash pH, the pH of your uh, wort after boiling, and even your, your finished beer is important and will allow you to learn over time and keep great records of your pH. Here's how to use a pH meter. It's a good idea to calibrate your pH meter each time prior to using it. This process is quick and easy using the included buffer solutions. You'll mix it up with 250 milliliters of deionized water, RO water works as well. Mix it up, insert the probe, and then hit the cal button. You hold it down for two or three seconds. It's gonna say CAL on the screen, then it'll say SA on the screen, and then say end. At the end, it should automatically calibrate itself for the given buffer that you've put it into. It's a good idea to use a buffer solution close to what you're calculating. So if you're calculating your mash pH, use the four one. If you're calculating or, or measuring your water pH, use the higher ones in the seven to nine range. Once you've calibrated your pH meter, it's now ready to take an accurate measurement. It's also worth mentioning and very important, you wanna cool your, your solution, your wort, uh, your water, whatever it is you're measuring down to room temperature. Inserting your probe into boiling or very hot solution could actually damage the probe and you don't wanna do that. All right, now we're gonna talk about how to take care of your pH meter. Along with calibrating your pH meter, you wanna make sure that you're storing it in a correct storage solution. So once you're done, taking your measurement, make sure you rinse your probe off and then put it in storage solution. It's good to add a little bit of storage solution in here because keeping it dry will lead to it prematurely failing. So make sure you add a little storage solution to the cap. There's a little sponge in there, put it away so it's ready for next time you're gonna use it. Even the most well-maintained pH meters, the probe's gonna fail over time. And that's one of the reasons I like this model is replacing the probe on this is simple and easy. First, you remove this O-ring, unscrew the cap, then gently pull it out. The new probe, you need to make sure you're inserting it in the right correction. There's only one way for it to go in, but gently insert it, screw the cap back on, and put on your O-ring. That easy. That's it. It's super easy to use this, calibrate it, replace the probe. Find all the information about this unit and more in the description below.